Visual SP for SharePoint Online and Office 365 provides the mechanism for ongoing training for your end users. Visual SP is used to communicate guidance, governance, and policies to the person right at the moment of need. The system is rendered in the form of this help tab that follows the users around wherever they go in SharePoint Online and the rest of Office 365, providing them the guidance and help they need. It consists of items like this walkthrough that helps the user walk through the interface. The walkthroughs even have links to other content that the user can view right away, such as this short two minutes video showing them exactly how to add users to a site. Hundreds of pieces of artifacts and training materials comes right as you start using the application. In addition to walkthroughs and video tutorials, you also have things like this quick reference sheet and also reference documents that users can print and keep it on their desk for future reference if they want it. Once a help item gets accessed like this video, the actual item becomes unbolded so the user knows that they've already viewed that item. There's also a dynamic search functionality built in so the user can always search for the information they're looking for. In addition to SharePoint Online, the Visual SP Help tab is available at all of the Office 365 applications. When an end user navigates to any of the applications that they have access to, like Tasks and Video and Delve and OneDrive, they'll see the Help tab available to them, helping them and training them at their moment of need. Now this video about what is OneDrive came up automatically when the user first visited this page, just because it's been set up this way to help them jumpstart their knowledge of OneDrive. Here's the Visual SP tab again, showing us the content that is contextually important to the user at this point. Here's a reference card for the user, showing them a OneDrive overview. They can pop out this window to have it on a separate screen, or even print it out to have it available as a reference. If at this point you're thinking, can I put my own content or change the existing content in the Visual SP Help tab, you absolutely can. Let me show you how easy it is to put your own content in the system so it's relevant to your users. I'll use SharePoint Online as an example. So I'm going to go into the Help tab, and as long as I have the Edit icon right on top, I can enable Edit Mode. While in edit mode, I can go ahead and change any of the items, groups, or I can add additional items or groups. Let me start by editing the walkthrough I showed you earlier about SharePoint Site Security. So here's my edit panel that comes up, and this is where I can change the title, the media, or go to the walkthrough builder to change or add on to my steps. This is where I can change various properties of my step including choosing a new target element. So if I wanted the pop-up to appear in a separate place, I would choose that element and use that instead. Then I would simply save this help item to publish it to my users. I can also start from scratch and add a new help item. The same edit task pane comes up where I would start by choosing my media type. It could be a walkthrough, web page, YouTube video, a regular video on my site, or anything else that I wanted. After I select a media type, I can go ahead and choose the proper title, the location to the media, whether I want to show in a new window, priority, change the icon if I wanted to, select a group, select a scope for it, and if I wanted to auto show on load. The auto show would show it to my users the next time they visit the page. In case you need help creating or managing the help items, we even have help for the administrator of the system to help them create and manage the help items. Ready to get started in your own environment? Start your free 30-day trial today or schedule a demo at visualsp.com. Thanks for watching.